with our electric fishing gear, we got all three of the primary species that we stock into farm ponds uh, here in Alabama. That's uh, bluegill, red ear, and the largemouth bass. These fish form the basis of the food web. That means that we get good growth in our top predator, that's the largemouth bass. The bluegills are the primary forage for that. And a bonus fish, the fish that a lot of people like to catch, is that, uh, is that shell cracker or red ear sunfish. I'm gonna show you each. This is a male bluegill sunfish. You see it's a male because it's big rounded, it's got a big blue spot there. And this, the fry that these produce, is the primary forage for the largemouth bass. So we'll go ahead and put him in the holding tank. The second fish that we got that I mentioned as a bonus fish is that shell cracker or red ear sunfish. And these can get to be quite large. The world record is over five pounds. Very large animal for a sunfish. This animal is called a shell cracker because it eats, <laughs> it eats shells and, and eats things with shells like snails and clams and that kind of thing. Gets its name from that red spot right on the opercle there. The final animal, is the largemouth bass. This is, gets its name obviously from that very large mouth. This is the top predator. This is the most sought after warm water species uh, in North America. Uh, fuels the big tournament industry uh, and it's the top predator for our small impoundments, our ponds. It controls the abundance of the other species in the pond by, by consuming all the little bluegills and red ears. So this is the, the species that a lot of the anglers that are really looking for in the pond. Now we'll take those fish out, we'll weigh them and measure them, and uh, that'll determine whether the fish are in good shape, whether or not we need to take more bass out, more bluegills out, or how we manage the pond.